You know, honestly, I didn't have any problem with it. Even Marilyn Manson, even though it's a girl's name and it's a direct descendant from Alice Cooper, musically we have nothing in common. Yeah, we he, don't have anything even close, and certainly not the, uh, theologically, we don't have anything in common. Right. right. But he's, I actually like uh, Marilyn. We were friends. Is, does, does Marilyn ever step out of character, though? Because I've only met him once. We did a show with them just about two months ago in Transylvania. Alice Cooper, Perfect Marilyn place. Manson in Transylvania. <laughs> Alice and Marilyn Manson in Transylvania. And he came up on our stage and did 18. He did 18. I'd never met him before. So he came up and did 18, and then I did uh, Sweet Dreams with uh, his band. Great. And uh, it was definitely that audience saw something that nobody else has ever seen. Because he, he walked into the dressing room and he goes, can I come in? You know, and I went, sure. So well, he's, about time we met. Yeah, he's got. you have to be one of his idols and yeah, well, big, he's, big and inspirations. He's, he's a very bright guy. He is very a bright, bright guy. guy. Big businessman, too. I right. think the thing that we talked about more than anything else was marriage. Mary, talked about yeah, he recently was divorced. Years, and he just got divorced, right, and right. I, I, I said, I really, uh, I'm sorry about your divorce. And, you know, he was very sincere in the fact of saying, yeah, not very many people took that seriously, except I did, the, the, the marriage. And I said, well, I said, that's why I said I'm sorry to hear about it. I, I like to see long marriages. Yeah, and you've been married, what, 30, 31 years? 31 years. My grandparents were married 76 years. How old were they? Like 12 they 15, when they got married? 15 when they were married. 76 years. 15. And 91, 92 years old. Your grandparents were, uh, you, you mentioned something about Huguenots? Well, we, that was our, that's my uh, background. That goes way back. Protestant, French Protestants mm -hmm. that came over, just like the, uh, you know, the pilgrims did, uh, from, you know, religious, uh, religious, uh, all kinds of problems they had in France. And uh, so I'm French, Sioux Indian. And now, where's, Irish. The, where's the Sioux Indian come from? The Sioux Indian somehow got in there. Those Huguenots, you never, you know, they were up to a lot of. <laughs> yeah, you know, you never can't trust a Huguenot. You can't That's trust a Huguenot. Said. Yeah, no so, kidding. You put a Huguenot with a Sioux and <laughs> throw a little Irish in there. I always say that the three things I am: French, Sioux Indian, and Irish. Two of them don't do well with liquor at all. French are okay, you know, but. <laughs> The Indian and the and the uh, Irish part of me. <laughs> so yeah, I was I was looking at some of the photos in the book. It, it, very interesting. Now, I can remember uh, in the seventies uh, how you know everyone who golfed was kind of looked at as a big dork. Oh yeah, right. Remember that? And uh, we hijacked the game. Yeah, I you, you kind of made it cool for. Well, that was it. Yeah. I mean, we took a game that was basically your grandfather's game or your dad's game, and you know, uh, and I said, well. I, most of the guys I know in rock and roll are athletes. Uh, at at mm -hmm. one time, Iggy was an athlete. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was. Everybody yeah. played some sport, right. you know. And I said, okay, we're on the road all the time. We're in Wichita, Kansas, on a Tuesday morning, and we have all day. What are you going to do in that Holiday Inn or whatever hotel you're in? Come on, smoke. let's go play. Let's go do something. Yeah. And Otherwise, you sit around, drink, smoke. Yeah, yeah. you give them a you give them a, a sport to play, and everybody will love mm -hmm. it. Now, for the first five years, I had to be a closet golfer because it was so against my image mm -hmm. to be a golfer. I remember, I remember that well. I test because I remember I did yeah. an interview with you a long time ago. Yeah, a long I time talk ago, twenty five years ago, and your ma your manager yeah. said no talk no about talking. golf. Yeah. Well, what happened was when I quit drinking, uh, which was about twenty five years ago. I took up golf, and that was part of, the, you know, when an alcoholic wakes up in the morning, first thing he does is grabs a beer and pops it and drinks it, and, you know, that's that's the way this day starts. I had to get up in the morning and say, okay, put the golf shoes on, be on the tee at 7 o'clock in the morning. I played 36 holes a day, every day for a year. And my wife, she said, I don't want to see you until 6 o'clock tonight. Just play golf all day. How many guys want that? Well, you know, it was nice. A that, beautiful yeah, woman yeah. that says, go play golf all day, and I'll see you later. I'll make dinner, and then we'll go to a movie, and then tomorrow morning I want to see you on the golf course again. I was in hell. Mm -hmm. And I still like that. That's probably still, why you've been married 31 years. She's great. <laughs> She's great. She's the best. So uh, what really struck me, too, was this... Uh, uh, a little snippet about Lou Reed asking you for golf tips of all people. Oh, I mean, no, no, it's it's amazing who plays golf. <laughs> I mean, when you know, I'm going to bust a lot of people because Iggy plays golf. Mm -hmm. uh, Roger Waters. When he's plays not golf. rolling around in glass. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's a pretty good stick, from what I understand. Uh, Lou Reed plays. Bob Dylan. 
plays. Um, uh, Neil Young. Every metal band I know has got at least two right. guys that play right. golf. I mean, you see these guys with tattoos everywhere and everything mm -hmm. like that. And when I meet them, it's not like, hey, man. It's about, it's like, hey, can you get me a driver, a Callaway driver? And like, yeah. You know? And it's all these death metal bands, yeah. you know. That hey, I doubt very seriously if they get on the really high-class courses. I can get on now because now, you know, I'm kind of synonymous with it and being with Callaway and everything. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't have that connection where I've played a lot on TV and played with, uh, you know, all the big guys. Now they love having me there, but, I mean, when I first started, it was like, we don't want Alice Cooper on this golf course. You played Pine Valley. I played Pine Valley. One of the hardest courses in the world. Shot 73, thank you very much. Highlight of your one over. golfing career? It was one of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. I shot 67 uh, in Phoenix. So what, what are these, what, what are these uh, uh, hardcore conservatives do when you, walk, when you walked in the when clubhouse? When you shoot five under... <laughs> They walk. They they say, "Can I polish your shoes, sir?" Because you know the one thing about golf that's interesting is that it goes beyond. It goes beyond any kind of uh, what do you do for a living? What is this? What you walk in? I remember one time I got invited to a party, Steve Allen's birthday party, okay, and I'm standing there in all my black leather, in all of my horror, and everybody in there was like, it was like Jerry Lewis. Dean Martin, Bob Hope, President Ford. They all played golf. Everybody in there was like from the Friars Club. And they made me a friar because they, they thought I was I was vaudeville, you know. So he walked in and, I, and somebody says, Bob wants to see you. And I'm going, Bob? I don't know anybody named Bob. And so they, uh, they bring me in there and there's Bob Hope. And he's talking. He's got Jackie Gleason, Jerry Lewis, President Ford. And I walk over, and there's Bob Hope, and he goes, Alice, I've been pushing my drives to the right, you know. And I said, well, your hands are too far ahead. I said, keep your hands behind the ball. When you... It had nothing to do with, I had hair down to here and makeup smeared all over and blood coming out of the side of my mouth. You know, I said, you know, you just got to keep your hands back there. And he says, what, like this? I said, yeah, pull your right hand over just a touch, like that. <laughs> President Ford's going, now, now I'm my hands about like that. And I said, well, that's a, that's a strong grip. You got to weaken that right side. I love the way you finished the, the book with the golf tips. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. great. You know, well, all those, golf tips, golf, Digest. all those <laughs> golf tips are not mine. Those are people that taught me. Johnny Miller, mm -hmm. Rocco Media, uh, uh, John Daly. John Daly taught me a lot of stuff. I mean, John was, is a good friend of mine. And uh, all those guys, you know, everything they taught me, I, I just passed it on in the book. Hey, uh, I, I wanted to ask you this, too, uh, as long as we're just blabbing about golf. Uh, this uh, FedEx Cup thing uh -huh. with Tiger blowing off the Barclays. Yeah. What, what, what's your feeling on that? I don't know. No, what does that mean? Is that just one tournament? Yeah, that's one tournament. I thought maybe you'd know more about it than well, I do. Well, he's so far ahead of everybody. <laughs> so, you know, I guess you don't need points, I guess. Oh, he's it? got 30,000 points. Mm -hmm. The next guy close to him is 17,000. Mm -hmm. So he could cruise the rest of the way in, I think, and win. 10 million, because he needs the other 10 million. Yeah, he's really hurting for cash, I heard. Yeah. The, uh, he's going to be the first billionaire. First oh, golf, golf, first golf billionaire. billionaire. Yeah. 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 Probably before he's 50. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think within the next five years. <laughs> so, let's talk about the radio show. Hey, let's play some Alice Cooper. Oh, we can't. Oh, we that's no power. right. That's right. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, but we do have some Did Alice Cooper CDs here. Woo. There's one, there's another one, that one. Uh, if you guys could just get those gerbils running really quick and get that. <laughs> now, you don't have a generator. The generator blew. Ah, yeah, the generator First our power blew. went out, and then the generator blew. See? So uh, everything went down. The computers, the and phones. And I just want to see whose fault that is. Who are we going to pin that one on? Oh, Back look up. at the man. The man raises his hand. <laughs> You're supposed to pass that on to the guy next to you. You're not understanding.